Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this how-to video where I show you how to get Final Fantasy XIV working on the Steam Deck. When you have installed the free version or bought the full version of Final Fantasy XIV, you will be greeted with this logo upon startup. This happens because of a launcher update that has become unsupported on the deck. Fortunately, for both non-Steam and Steam versions, there is a fix. I will divide the guide into a section for the non-Steam version and another section for the Steam version, so click on the desired version in the description. Let's start with the non-Steam version. You will need to go to desktop mode first. Open the discovery page and download Getit or Gedit. Since the standard text editor is VIM or VIM, and it might be hard for some inexperienced people. Then download ProtonUp-Qt. Open up ProtonUp-Qt from the Applications menu. Click on Add Version and in Compatibility Tools, select Proton GE. Then select the latest GE Proton version and click on Install. Afterwards, open up Dolphin and make sure you can see the hidden files by clicking the hamburger icon and taking on the function to show hidden files or hit Ctrl H if you're using a keyboard. Navigate to dot .local, share, steam, steam apps, compat data. The folder called 312060 is the free version of Final Fantasy XIV. The full version folder is called 39210. Open up your folder and navigate further to PFX, Drive C, Users, Steam User, Documents, my Games, Final Fantasy XIV. Open up your boot.cfg file and change the following. Browser needs to be one, browser type needs to be one, and startup completed needs to be one as well. Save the file and now you're ready to configure the game in Steam. Return to gaming mode or open Steam in desktop mode if you like. Open up the game's properties and in general launch options, fill in no steam equals one space percent command percent. This will make sure the launcher is not a steam version. Then under compatibility, force to use a specific tool and select your downloaded GE Proton version. When running the game now, you will be greeted with the launcher. Go ahead and fill in your credentials to start playing Final Fantasy XIV. Now we'll fix the steam version of the game. Credit for this solution goes to Sensilius on GitHub, since I will be referencing their guide here. You can click the link in the description, since you'll need to download the zip there. First things first, this does not work when the game is installed on your SD card. I have tried this and there are some permissions issues down the road that I haven't been able to solve. You might be able to, but this guide is based on the game being installed on the internal drive. In desktop mode, open up the discovery page and then download ProtonUp-Qt and ProtonTrix. Open up ProtonUp-Qt from the Applications menu, click on Add Version and in Compatibility Tools, select ProtonGE. Then select 6.1-GE-2 and click on Install. Then open up Console and fill in the command found in the description or on the GitHub page under Update Wine Tricks. This will update Wine Tricks under your new Proton version. Open up the GitHub link in Firefox on your Steam Deck if you haven't already. And on the right, you can click on Download Zip. Extract the zip and you will see a 39210.py file. Open a second Dolphin tab and navigate to Home.Steam Steam, Steam Compatibility Tools.d Proton-6.21.ge-2 Proton fixes Game fixes and copy the 39210.py file in here. I haven't tested this but if you only own the trial version with the 312060 folder I believe you can rename the py file to that name and paste it in there. But since I haven't tested it I cannot know for certain. Please let me know if you're in this situation and tried it if it works or not. But to continue Within Steam, you will need to search for Proton in your games list and download Proton 5.0. This must be installed in the same library as the game. As I said before, when this is installed on the SD card, it will not function. Please make sure to install this on the internal drive as well. 
Now, open up Steam and navigate to the properties of Final Fantasy XIV. Under Compatibility, select Proton 6.3-8. Close the window and run the game. It will show you the Final Fantasy logo as it did before, so that's good. Your configuration folder is now reset and ready to be configured by the new tool. Close down Steam completely and restart it. Open the properties of Final Fantasy XIV and under Compatibility, select Proton-6.21. Dash GE-2. Dash then under General, Launch Options, fill in the line that you find in the description or on the GitHub page under Edit the Launch Arguments. Close the Properties window and hit Play. This might take a while. It will replay and install some functions in the background and you won't see a progress bar for this. But at some point, you will be greeted with an error message. Just click on No and the launcher will show itself a moment after. Bear in mind, after the first launch, it will launch much faster without the error message in the future. Fill in your credentials and tick the Use Steam Service Account. Login automatically does not need to be ticked here, your credentials will be saved. It will download 50 GB worth of game files, so you'll have to be patient a little while longer. But afterwards, you're ready to start playing. With any of these fixes, you might run into an issue when selecting a data center, You'll only see a black screen and endless loading icon. If this happens, you'll need to reinstall the game. For the Steam version, you will need to delete the combat data folder under .local, share, steam, steam apps, combat data and delete the 39210 folder. Then proceed to launch the game with Proton 6.3-8 first and then again with Proton-6.21-GE-2. It will reinstall the game as it did previously and your data center should be able to load afterward. I hope this guide helped you out. Leave a like if it did and also write a comment if you'll be playing it on the deck. I'm on the Chaos Data Center in the Cerberus server. So who knows, we'll see each other online from our Steam Decks. This was Glitchy with the Steam Deck Tutorial, signing out.